All right, here we here we go, yo. Um, what's up? It's your boy Van, and this is here we are with another tip of the cap for y'all. And this is one I got years ago, and I just had to just do some research just now, just to make sure like where I got it from and all that. But um, this one's a San Francisco Giants baseball fitted and kind of cool material in a different looking material so um i got it from hatland but i'm not sure exactly how long ago um probably at least five years ago but you know it's probably longer than that or you now yeah so at least long, long enough but um yeah um got this hat mostly because of the different material it has so it um on the front and in the front really has the um like a woven style a weave um like a woven basket and then the logo as long as the sides or in the rear it's um corduroy so it's a black and tan combination um has a pretty cool tag uh 59 at 50 i believe so i think it was like 50 years since mlb and the new era got together or something like that but um, I do like this particular line because like it's like so kind of a celebration of 50 years so um, yeah 59 50 at yeah, 50 so yeah 59 50 years of the fitted style um, but yeah um, I really wish they had something like this back or I know like that year they definitely pushed the envelope a lot as far as like special looking hats and we're like using different materials and that sort of thing and that's that's kind of the error that i actually was got serious about hat collecting really so like a little further back but like you know for me it's just like i always like uh hats that you know were different looking or that stood out a bit or popped more um so i i was more into that style so i've been you know i you know when i'm buying hats now it's like a lot of times I, I usually just get this because it's different looking from any regular hat that you can get at like the mall or whatever. But, um, yeah. So, I mean, it feels comfortable. It's, it's um, actually pretty cool. It, and I don't wear it too often just because I have a bunch of other hats. So, I usually just wear one. <laughs> Try to wear it each day. One a day. But it got it kind of hasn't reached the rotation yet, or you know, I don't know. But I like I feel I like the material that they use. Um, yeah, I wish they New Era. I know New Era's going through a tough time as far as like having to close down their factories or outsourcing. Really, they're more just outsourcing. So I think that's that has an effect on like you know the materials that are used and the quality too. So even though I haven't worn this hat in a long time, it fits really good and it's like. You know, it, it feels great. So, um, I don't really care for the Giants, per se, but I just have a hat for every baseball team, and I'm now kind of on the goal to get every major team hat for MLB baseball, NBA basketball, and NFL football. Um, baseball, essentially, I have all the teams. Football and basketball, I think I'm like one or two teams away but both of those teams are like teams like despise so i'm just really waiting for like a cool colorway at least at this point for either any of those but like it's, it's gonna be it's gonna have to take a lot to really pull the trigger on that um hockey i don't have all the teams but i do have several um NHL, nhl hockey at least but um yeah, they have like a new sponsorship, and I don't like the quality of those hats. Um, there's also Major League Soccer, which I don't plan to get other teams other than the Seattle Sounders FC because that's the team I rep. And unfortunately, XFL. I mean, I, I like I had the Seattle Drag I have a few Seattle Dragons hats, but that's probably the only team I was going to get. But then now they're the league sh bankrupt and shut down, so which sucked because. They're, they're really a casualty of, you know, like COVID-19 and this whole pandemic. And I felt like they're on their way to kind of building something, not major, major, like 
NFL football, but like something that a viable option to say. So yeah, um, but the hat itself though, yeah, this from Hatland. I like Hatland a lot. I that was one of the first uh, places I went to to find hats online, and when I had a job that I can buy hats back in college. So, um, you know, and they're still, they're still up there based in the Maryland DMV area. Um, they have a lot of hats still in their, fa in their inventory from yesteryear, I believe, but like they're, they're still up and running and, uh, and I'm sure they have a couple stores out there in the East coast, but, um, yeah, um, the weather is getting nicer. Hopefully that helps things out as far as uh, this whole pandemic. Um, also, my life personally, you know, work's taking an interesting turn. I thought I was going to get, uh, you know, a stable amount of hours, but now it's getting reduced again for the time being. And I'm not sure how long that's going to be, but, you know, at least I'm, has a, have a, staying busy somewhat, even if it's not, um, from what I've been used to doing, but, um, yeah, like the hat, I probably, sh I'll probably wear it, um, yeah, this is kind of the corduroy, really, is this more something that I would wear early fall, but, um, tip of the cap to y'all, thanks for watching, we'll be back with another one real soon, and see you when I see you.